Leaders and welcome back to another Star Wars Unlimited Leader Spotlight. And this here is we're going to take a look at a leader from the Star Wars Unlimited trading card game. We're going to be talking about some cards that look pretty cool with that leader, at least very synergistic at a face value. That being said, we're going to look at one of our final leaders to talk about within the series for the first set, and that's going to be... Emperor Palpatine. So Palpatine going to be command and villainous a leader with the Force, Imperial, Sith, and Official keyword trait. He's going to have an action where you can spend a resource, exhaust him, and you have to defeat a friendly unit. But from doing all that, you get to deal one damage to a unit and draw one card. Of course, if you have an ep you have an epic action that if you have eight or more resources, you can deploy him as a leader unit. And when that happens, he becomes a 410 um, big boy unit on the field, on the ground arena. He, when deployed, you can take control of a damaged non-leader unit, and then, of course, you can also, on attack, you have this ability that you may defeat another friendly unit, and if you do, you get to deal one damage to a unit and draw a card. So, obviously, Palpatine's plan here is actually very similar to um, Darth Vader's, but a little more cunning, a little more scheming, a little more um, malicious, and then, of course, a little more powerful from a certain point of view, right? So, obviously, here, you want to have units that you are f okay with sacrificing, whether that because they don't really uh, don't apply so much long-term value or pressure, or because you know they're going to die very soon either. Anyway, and then you want to take full advantage of that ability that when you deploy him, you can take control of a damaged non-leader unit on your opponent's side of the field, or just usually, usually who you're going to be picking one of your opponent's units, and then you can use them to against your opponent. It's a very powerful effect there that can easily win you many games. So let's take a look at some cool command cards that work really well with our boy Sheev here. Okay, so looking at the base options, you can either play the Energy Conversion Lab or the Command Center. Energy Conversion Lab, of course, when you play it, you can play a unit. As an epic action, you can play a unit. Of course, you have to pay the calls. That calls six or less from your hand and give it ambush this phase. A very powerful effect if you decide to give up the extra five health. Then, for some e units, the first and most obvious unit to play in a Chief Palpatine def deck is going to be Emperor's Royal Guard. Three cost, three, four. While you control an official unit, this unit gains Sentinel. And, of course, when you have Palpatine on the field, he's going to be an official card, so you're going to gain that Sentinel. And then also, if you control Emperor Palpatine as a leader or as a unit, this is going to get plus one HP. So it's going to be a little more, it's going to be a, a little bit of a bigger body while Palpatine is out while you're playing with Palpatine, which is why he's obviously perfect in the Palpatine deck. He's meant for it, actually. Then, of course, the Super Laser Technician is a great example of cards that work well with Palpatine's ability here. Three costs, two, one. When defeated, you get to put it into play as a resource and ready it. Now, this card is going to die super easily with only one HP, and so killing it yourself with Palpatine is actually going to allow you to not only A, get a resource, B, get an extra card in your hand, and C, deal some damage to an enemy unit. And he sort of replaces himself, because you have to pay a resource to play use Palpatine's ability. You pay one, you put this guy into a resource, and you essentially just got a free damage and a free card. It's an absolutely busted transaction there. You can also play Darth Vader, who's a 7 cost, 5, 7 ambush. When you play him, you can search the top 10 cards of your deck and play any number of Dar um, villainous units with a combined boss cost of 3 or less and play each of them for free. Obviously, this is going to get you out a lot of your cheaper units. It's also going to get out your super laser technicians if that's what you're looking for, but it's going to give you a lot of your 1 cost units and a bunch of them so that you can use their ability with Palpatine. Oftentimes, when you're playing as Palpatine, you're going to be killing your own units that you're paying for, and so you're going to want a way to you're going to need a way to fill refill your ranks after that's all said and done general krell is actually incidentally a really good card with palpatine he's five cost five four other friendly units gain when defeated you may draw a card so obviously you're just you're going to be killing your own unit so you'll have almost complete control over um this um ability and drawing extra cards through palpatine's and through this abilities um, then of course you can play the gla the gladiator star destroyer six cost five six when played give a unit sentinel for this phase it's going to allow you to make some of your units a little bit more um, defensive and it doesn't say a non leader unit so when you have Palpatine on board as a leader unit it'll be a six 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 ten HP sentinel card and it's actually going to be amazing. Then, of course, for some events, you can play the Emperor's Legion. Two calls to return each unit in your discard pile. That was a feat of this phase to your hand. So, obviously, this is another card built for Palpatine. It's going to allow you to get all those cards that you um, killed yourself with Palpatine's ability back into your hand to use again in future turns. Command is a really interesting card. If you're playing double command, just like um, Krell there, for cost, choose two in any order. Give two experience tokens to a unit. Friendly unit deals damage equal to its power to a non-unique enemy unit. Put this event to play as resource and return a unit from your discard pile to your hand. Those last two abilities especially are really good in Palpatine. 
Then, of course, for finally, you're going to look at Traitorous. Now, it's a little bit of an interesting choice. It's, I don't think it's really that necessary or that amazing, but it does have a little bit of baseline synergy with the Palpatine here. Five costs. Um, when this upgrade becomes attached to a non-leader unit that costs three or less, you can take control of that unit. And when this upgrade becomes unattached from the unit, the owner can take control of that unit. And so you can use your opponent's own um, cards against them, which is very thematic for Palpatine, right? That's going to be it for Command, but that's not it for all the cards we're going to be talking about, because next up, we got to take a look at a couple of Vigilance cards that are going to work really well with Palpatine in the long run. So, you can take a look at cards like the Security Complex, but giving a Shield Token to a non-leader unit doesn't outwardly help your effect. Obviously, your strategy with Palpatine, obviously, throughout the games, throughout many games, you can realize that the extra Shield is worth the extra five, the loss of five health. But um, in some, a lot of cases, you can go ahead and just play the Capital City if you want to play them on Vigilance there. So some units you can take a look at are going to be the Scout Bike Pursuer, 2 calls 1-4 Grit. So he's going to get much plus 1 power for each damage counter on him. And you can use him time again or multiple times throughout the game. And then when he gets enough damage on him, when he has 3-2 damage on him, or where you really think he's about to die, after he's gotten max value out of him, you can kill him with Palpatine's ability. And he's not that expensive. Death Troop is an interesting card too. Three cost, three power, three HP. When you get to play him, you get to deal two damage to a friendly ground unit, and then two damage to a to an enemy ground unit. To allow you to ping those units with um, well, um that so you can then activate Palpatine's ability when you flip into leader into leader unit form. And also gonna put some damage on your own friendly units too. If you want to power up somebody like the spite the scout bike pursuer, and so that he can become more powered up throughout the game. Then you can play the Distant Patroller, 2 cost, cheap, 2, 1. When defeated, you actually get to give a shield token to a Vigilance unit. It's going to allow you to um, get effects from killing your own units with Palpatine. The Vigilance cards here, you can finally take a look at the Super Blast, Super Laser Blast, 8 cost, defeat all units. Now, not only are you playing a lot of units that then they themselves are fine with being defeated, also, sometimes if you're defeating your own units constantly, you're going to fall behind on the unit game against your opponent very quickly, and you can fall behind by a lot. You can have a lot of units on board, and you can say, guess what, I'm not dealing with that, and just wipe the board completely clear of all your opponent's units to hopefully make a comeback in that sense. Talking about the cunning cards you can play with this leader, obviously you have the option between a basic base or a um, or the Jetta City special base. So Jetta City is going to allow you to give a non-leader unit minus four um, power for this phase it could end up happening and you can end up using it defensively and offensively ultimately it can come it definitely can come in handy throughout the game if you choose to go that route then you can play the isb agent as a unit one cost one three when you play him you reveal event from your hand if you do deal one damage to an in, to a unit it's gonna allow you to do a little burn there a little ping damage to activate um put the opposing ability online if it needs to be happen that way when you flip into the leader unit form but also it's a cheap unit that you can play for one, use its ability, and then say, well, I got as much um, use out of you that I want to get, get out of you. And then kill him with your ability to uh, to deal that damage and draw that card. Rito's a similar option like that. One cost, three, one. All, all, uh, similarly, but opposite, three, one, similar to the ISB agent. When defeated, though, you may discard a card from your deck. And if it's not a unit, deal to damage to ground unit. Um, obviously this is not always going to trigger or fire, but when it does, it can allow you to do some burn damage, some damage to your opponent's units. The seventh fleet defender is going to be three cost, three, two shielded, just a generically good card for the villainous cunning aspects. And then finally sneak attacks is going to be a two cost, play a unit from your hand. It costs one, it costs three less and enters play ready at the start of your, of the regroup phase you defeat it. Not a lot of decks, you want to be getting as much unit use out of your units as possible. So playing a unit for minus three and then it going away is going to be a big swing move, but then it's going to not end up, um, then it's going to go away, right? As it says on the card. But in Palpatine in particular, you can play a card that is three or less, essentially for minus one. Get like the, like the super laser technician, get the ability, kill it yourself or kill it with this effect, and then get even more efficiency out of the card. And so it's a really cool card in Palpatine, but in a lot of decks in general. Then finally, for the main aspect simples, we're going to take a look at Aggression. Now, when you're playing Aggression, there's a lot of good options, actually. Um, in my opinion, some of the coolest ones are going to be what you can do with your basic, well, your special base, Sarkin Town. It's going to allow you to just deal some damage to your enemy's units, and then it's going to allow you to gain efficiency that way. And then you can play as a unit, you can play the Death Star Stormtrooper, 1 cost, 3, 1, it's obviously super cheap, so then again, you can play it, and then kill it with Palpatine, and you will lose minimum resources, not nothing, but minimum, 
And then First Legion Stormtrooper is going to be another card. Two cost to three while attacking a damaged unit. So if you ping him with Palpatine's ability through some, or through some of the other abilities you have in the game, this card is going to get plus two power and overwhelm. It's going to allow you to deal some extra damage to your opponent's base or kill an opponent, uh, a unit that you wouldn't have been able to kill otherwise. Ruthless Raider, six cost. When you play it, in order when it's defeated, you get to deal two damage to an enemy base and two damage to an enemy unit. Super powerful because it happens when you not only when you play it, but also when it's defeated. So you can actually get some extra effects from killing it yourself with Palpatine after maybe letting it stay around for just a little bit. Then you have the Star Scout, the Star Wing Scout, three calls for one. When defeated, if you have the initiative, draw two cards. Obviously, it's going to be a really easy to kill unit. You play it onto the field. And then if you have the initiative, you can just kill him right away, draw two cards. Or if you don't have the initiative, then you can play him towards the end of the turn, claim initiative maybe. And then next turn, you can use him, kill him by swinging him into somebody else, get those two cards, whatever. But the point is, it's going to be something that's going to benefit you for him dying. So you won't be afraid of killing him with Palpatine. Force Lightning is a card I put in here because it's very thematic, but it has some important uses. You can use it with Palpatine. One cost, choose a unit. It loses all of its abilities for this phase. And if you control a Force unit, so if Palpatine usually is going to be a leader unit on the field, pay any number of resources and deal two damage to the chosen unit for each resource paid this way. So you can obviously pay it for a two cost card to remove the abilities from a unit and deal two damage to it. Removing Sentinel from a unit is going to be really potent a lot of times. So it's something to keep in mind. And then finally, the Fallen Lightsaber, 3 cost, plus 3, plus 3. You can only attach to a non-vehicle unit, but the attached unit is going to get... If, it, if the attached unit is a force unit, it gains on attack, get 1 damage to each ground unit def the defending player controls. So a little extra pinging damage you can do there. And then to round off this video, let's take a look at some villainy cards that works well with Palpatine. Mostly we're going to look at Admiral Mahdi, 2 cost, 1-1. One, one. When defeated, you get the ready and you a villainous unit. It's going to allow you to get a lot of, uh, like, I mean, great value out of what it's worth. You pay for two, which is cheap, essentially. And then you can also kill it with Palpatine because it has bad stats. And then you can ready another villainous unit that's going to be actually really powerful that can attack for real damage. Absolutely perfect in Palpatine. And then the Thai LM, uh, the Thai LM uh, fighter here is going to be two costs. One, one cost is just going to be a cheap unit that you can use to kill it with Palpatine to get as much value as possible out of it. But that's going to be it for today's video. We took a look at Palpatine here. He's going to be a card that's going to benefit from killing your own units. So you're going to play the units that actually benefit from dying because you're going to have to that you activate his ability. He's going to do a little cunning, a little, uh, a little, a little, a little plotting, a little treachery, stuff like that. And you're going to have a big body on the field when he flips over. And so usually, although you're going, to, you're going to need eight resources to do it, you can get it to up to eight pretty quickly with certain abilities. And then, of course, when you do finally get to his other form, you're going to have a big body on the field that's going to allow you to take another body off your opponent's field and can end up absolutely winning you the game as a lot of times it will. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please go watch some other Star Wars Unlimited Leader Spotlights. And then also, if you're really excited about the Star Wars Unlimited trading card games, stay tuned, subscribe, because we've got more content of this like coming out soon, and we hope to see you guys there. Well, that's going to be all for now, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ahead and watch some of our other videos that we've made on this channel. Also, give this video a like if you thoroughly enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future content. And I hope to see you guys back at the roost.